I get women's perspective where I had no other choice but to be, you know, the head of the household. I had no other choice but to provide because my black man is not here because, and Kyle, you spoke on this, the whole systemic racism with regards to welfare. So yeah. if the man was in the house, then she wouldn't get the necessary support that she needs to provide for her family. And he can't bring the money in because of racism. They're not giving him the job to be able to provide. So I have to kick him out or he can't be here like that movie Claudine, right? Mm -hmm. That's a very powerful movie in our culture. You know, so I'm just saying, I get the dynamic that women had to deal with where your mom raised you, get your education, get your job. So that way you're not in that situation where you have to depend on the government and you don't have to depend on a man who maybe not by himself, but he can't provide because of these societal ills. So my question, I guess I'm trying to ask is, what is your take on the dynamic that you're facing in terms of the, 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 the narrative that's being put out there now that women are in their prime from the ages of like puberty, wherever that is, 13, 15 to like 25 or 28. And, and it seems like those are the years women are now are, are more focused on getting their education, getting career oriented, not focusing on relationships or marriage. And then after that age, and they, where they have established themselves career wise, they got the education, they got the job, then they think of settling down. What is your, you know, and then, you know, the narrative is being, just keep it real. Yeah. Just keep it real. I'm going to put it out there. The yeah, narrative is also. We adults. Uh, we find that a lot of women during those prime times end up having children. One child, two child from two or three different daddies. So as a woman, not saying that's you, but I'm saying as a, as a black woman, what is your take on that narrative right there? Like, I guess the question is, I mean. Yeah, what's your, no, what's your take? What's, yeah, like, how do you feel yeah. about that data? How do you feel about that information of women who do that or lean towards that type of mentality of doing that? You know, is that something that, you hear a lot is it something that you know you've ex you've experienced through you know close friends like how like what's your what's your take on that whole dynamic of how we've been taught and socialized that way thank you kyle yeah. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> <the question>. <laughs> <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> no, that's it Kay. that's right right there that's cool. what's your take on that? <laughs> yeah i mean there's, there's validity to that um even in myself i see that i followed that pattern um and being older and now being at that point of okay now what's next like it didn't it doesn't seem like it's elevating to the capacity that i thought it would um because this is what i was taught to do mm -hmm. i think somewhere between that though that i'm learning personally for myself is that we get so one track minded that we don't leave room for God to do the unknown and, mm -hmm. and not to say, and, and because he's such, you know, you know, Dixon, I always got to bring God in it. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> not mad at it. You know, since he's, uh, you know, his ways are not our ways, our thoughts are not his thoughts. Um, sometimes I believe, and, and, and this is just me. Um, that we can get so one track minded that we don't leave room for God to infute. And then when we finish what we do, now we pause and be like, all right, God, what's next? Mm. He's like, I'm proud to talk to you. Done, girl. <laughs> Where you been? You know, and, 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 it, and it is a hard pill to swallow. And I know being raised in a church, this is like the situation and reality to a lot of my friends who have done that path, who have done, went to school, educated themselves, got careers, and now like, all right, I want the family, I want the husband, and it doesn't look like that's manifesting as of, yeah. Wow. Um, so there's validity to to that um, fact that you shared, and and, and, it, and it, it is true. And then, but my question would always be, well, then it's like, you know, I can't go back. Now I got to keep going. But then how do I help the next um, mm. young woman who's um, raised in a single parent household whose mindset, and not to say the mindset is wrong. And, you know, I don't want to, you know, do what you got to do. Um, but what do I do to, to, to stop that for them? Because there's, 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 there's validity in it. Uh, let's just be honest. There really is validity in it. So, 
-hmm. Like, how can I still be career oriented and, you know, get everything that I need to get for me, but also leave room for other things to come into my life? Like, why do I have to be so one track minded on that? Like, how, what do I do? And then, I, and this is no blame because our parents do the best that they can do or what they was raised right. with, what they saw as an example. So it's never to be little what they did. But our job is to look at the next generation and see, well, I'm going to take some things that, you know, mama taught me, and but I'm going to change some things for the next generation that I saw didn't work for me. You know, awesome. so. Awesome. It's, it's a lot. It it's is. a lot. Oh, he's opening up some stuff now, so I want, I want to learn more. All right, so um, <laughs> as a as as a Christian, right, a believer, right, cause come from the same similar background. Um, I really want to hear what your take on this, Nishan, is. So, according to Christianity, right, the order is this is going to be interesting. <laughs> the mm. order is God, husband, wife, children. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. I don't know what that looks like, though. That's that's my fear. Mm. I don't know what mm. it looks like. I do agree that that is the order, but I don't know. Like I, I don't know what it looks like. You know, mm. I do believe. Wow. I do have a um. God's word is God's word, so I'm not going to alter it. You know, whether it makes me comfortable or not. His word <laughs> is his word. You know, um, but because I don't know what it looked like. I, like, I can't sit here and be hypocritical and be like, that's right. When I get my husband, I'm going to do this. I'm, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So I'm put in a situation. But what I can say is I am willing to learn. And that's the the process that I'm in. You know, it's not. Um, huh. And then sometimes, you know, and I'm going to flip this on you guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> sometimes, you know, in situations that I've been in, I can only speak for me. Absolutely. Um, sometimes it can be a little intimidating, you know, and and I'm not perfect. I, I got a whole bunch of stuff, but it could be kind of intimidating with someone who's a little, you know, a little bit more like grounded in conversations. Like I, we can have a conversation, we can talk and things like that. And I have a purpose to fulfill, just like you have a purpose to fulfill. So like it's not belittling you and, you know, what you're doing, you know, what that looks like. And I just it's been a little difficult with trying to figure out like. You know, I don't want to dumb down myself, uh, but that's the way you. society makes it looks like you have to do to, uh, uh, to, uh, um, to get that. So, like, uh, I think that's where I'm at in this part of my life, personally, trying to figure all that out. Like, I didn't ask to, you know, do what I'm doing and what I'm called to. I really believe wholeheartedly that God called me to that. So now uh, I just need you to, like, help me with that passion, like help me you know, <laughs> understand that it's not a competition or understand I'm not trying to outshine anybody. Mm. I'm really trying to do my God given purpose. What that looks like, I'm still trying to get comfortable with, okay, personally. Aww. But it's just like, I need that space to be able to, it's okay for you to grow. And if your growing doesn't look like mine, it's okay. Like, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Damn. Be family. That's why. That's what I'm saying, man. That's why the cop. Hey, hey. <laughs> Soon to be Doctor Holmes. Soon to be Doctor Holmes. Just wanna let you know. Dixon. Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No, it's 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 it's, and it seems like the more and more like I'm learning and engaging and stuff like that is to be transparent. It's difficult, and <laughs> it's like I don't know. You know, of course, we all have things that we need to change, I guess, in the beginning, mental health, internal stuff and things like that. But like, I really believe that God called me to something that I'm going to need someone to really digest. And what does that look like? What does that look like for me? And then I'm on the other hand, it's like, I can't, I don't want to disappoint God. Like, I understand, this, you know, I desire a husband. God knows with all my heart, I really do. But I don't want to disappoint him in, in doing that. So, like, where's the... Oh, man, you're going to get me in the preacher mode, Kyle. I'm about to get in the preacher mode. <laughs> <Yes>. um... <laughs> Purpose, man. Purpose. Like... Purpose. Yeah, because I... Um... Oh, this is more... Man, this this has to be this has to be a course or... Because you can't... It's just not... Fair. 
this conversation within it. It's just not going to work. It's just not. Um, so let me give you my take on this, Nishana. As a man, as a black man, right? And Cal, do I have your permission to go in? Because I, I definitely want to. Okay. Go in. I just make sure we're on time, but we go in. We got time. Yeah. We got time yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, we passed them. We, okay. 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 We got time okay. today. <laughs> so I think, I think, oh, man. So, I mean, I'm going to do my very best to try and keep this succinct, right? So God's word is simple um, from my rearing. And Cal and I talk about this because Cal sees me about the ancestors and all that, right? And I also, I'm also doing a series on the authenticity of the Bible because people think it's written by man and, you know, that whole thing and that dynamic uh, going into the scrolls. And we learned that Jesus wasn't white, right? He was, you know, brown. So it's, it's a lot of... Like God's word, from my from my experience, God's word is pure. The scripture is pure and it's pregnant. And I've experienced this firsthand personally. Mm-hmm. How when I read scripture, I can read the same scripture, and it 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 it's a it, it gives birth in me. It it's alive. It's definitely alive. I'll I'll stick my life on God's word. Um, but it it's it's really a case of, uh, like God says, study to show thyself approved. A workman not needed to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So God wouldn't put that in the word if he wasn't trying, telling us something, right? So he's telling us, study my word, break my word down, pick it apart, find my true element, find my true being. So I truly believe that. Um, so that's why I could say his scriptures is alive and it's, it's birth. There's been times when I felt like giving up and I read the scripture and it's just alive in my spirit and I can... I can take off. No radio, no music, no TV show, no book, no documentary has ever been able to be as effective in my life as God's word been. Hands down. So now it's just a, an effort of me to just really pick apart the lies and the BS and the nonsense and the, all this translation crap and really get to God's word, pure word. So I said all that to say, and tying it into your experience, when you talk about God's purpose in you, Like, you know, I I don't want to let God down either, as if to say from what I've taken, right? Whereas there's a difference between uh, the pursuit and fulfilling, this is a key word, role as a wife in a relationship and your role as a child of God. Because I don't believe that, I don't, according to the scripture, I don't believe there should be a difference. I believe that. Yeah, and the Bible says, he who findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. And I just learned that, Kyle. I learned that like a few days ago. So when God says in the word, findeth the wife, that means, and I learned it. <laughs> I'm not going to go down. I don't want to get too far. <laughs> but uh, where God says findeth the wife, that means she must be wife material from the beginning. Right. right? It's not find a girlfriend and she becomes a wife. It's because she was a wife from the beginning, right from the start. Right. So if that's the case, then God is going to put you in position to find your husband because it's the same thing. So your husband, according to the scripture, is going to find you, which is a wife. And and that that is going to align automatically. So it's never going to be a case where you have to struggle between what my role is and, and, you know, me having to subdue myself or not shine. Your man, your husband is going to be that person that's going to be able to be that provider that will give you the space to shine as loud as you want because it's your purpose that God gave you. So God wouldn't give you someone that's going to go against his plan for your life. Okay, so those are one of the things that, that I sorted. So that's why I'm, I'm, my question primarily that I wanted to pose to you and get your take on it was, according to the scripture, like that, like where do you, mm, I guess what I'm saying, as you're discovering who you are or, you know, figuring this thing out, um, I don't think the component is going to be one in which you would have to even contemplate whether you have to subdue your purpose that's i don't even think that should be on the table your purpose is your purpose god gave you that purpose that's your purpose i think the the the, the question is diving into god's word enough in order to become that wife that you need to be in order to attract the husband that's looking for you so i think that's you know that i think that's the self reflection of self-help self-evaluation um that I would, if I was you, focus on 
in terms of, okay, this is God's purpose that God gave me. This is how I'm made. This is what my path, this is what he put in me. Now it's just a case of me figuring out how I can fill that role of being a wife. So that connection can be made. I just want, I just want, you know, what do you think about that? And what's your take on that? Cause, cause I want to ask another question, but, um, I just wanted to, you know, what, what do you think about that one? Learning from Cal. Nah, bro, don't form no question. Just, just leave it there. What's your thoughts on it? <laughs> no, that's that's good stuff. That's that's to be transparent. You 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 stumped me with that one, um, because you don't. Well, for me personally, didn't think of it like that. Like the the the, you stumped me. <laughs> you really stumped me. <laughs> didn't mean to. I just <laughs> yeah. Well, you stumped me. That's a lot to digest because there is the, we take, well, you know, take for granted, we prepare for everything in life. Like we prepare for everything. Um, I don't think that's one of the things that we're taught to do, to prepare to be a wife. Like you don't think, it's like once you get to the situation, ah, oh, bump my head here, there, let's see how this works, right? <laughs> um, but I, I don't, that's what stumped me with that. Like preparation, what does that look like? Like what? what what would that entail what are the certain things because you don't prepare for that well I, I never i never thought of it to that capacity of something that you prepare for you know what are the steps that you're taking i like, know they're not going to just give me a degree without writing a dissertation right so like you and that's every man of life like you have to prepare for it so that's you stumped me with that one that was a good that was a good one 